Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes. This is Ponbarian. This is a game that I really, really enjoy. Um, I actually like this game myself on my own. Um, so I've actually played a decent amount of this game myself. Um, but this is a chess roguelike. That's weird to say, I know, but... I will do tutorial as Ponbarian, just to demonstrate to you how the game is working. Welcome to Ponbarian. Hover anything to see a description. Each turn you play cards. So, your chess set? This is a relatively normal chess set here. Yeah, that's the right amount of chess. Um, I think it's missing a king, but besides that... This is a bog standard chess set. Each piece is essentially a card that can be dealt to you every turn. So right now I can only use the pawn and I just scoot forward. I go first, I take my turn. And then as with typical chess, you can promote with a queen. So I can use that to kill. As you can see, the uh, I don't know why I did the tutorial. I can just explain it on my own. Um, but the turns tick down until they reach nothing. This is the gold you get. And then you can actually buy upgrades for your pawn guy. And that's cool. So every single one of these gets an upgrade. So these are all upgraded separately. So now my queen piece and uh, rook piece have bonuses on them. So the bonus, the lightning, you get another action and you draw a card. The little hatches around the edges of the corners show you the damage of any individual move. I can just kind of kill quickly. I don't really need to worry about it too much. Hello. So, um, this is like, it's shockingly simple, you know, but it's so cool. So pawns, of course, follow their own rules. Um, and everyone has their own rules. So cabbie bears are bog standard. Uh, horn cabbie bears are immune while you're next to them. Shield defends you. You know, makes sense. So because I'm coming in from outside of his range, that's a kill. So I can kill him with that. Um, you can, of course, get these. This is bonus attack. Um, hmm. I'll grab that. Having bonus attack on knight is useful because knight can go over things. And that's very useful to me. Oh yeah, right. The little whirlwind means that they are... Uh, the little whirlwind means that they are immune to damage until they take one hit and then they take another hit. But because I had the splash on my pawn, diagonal splash, yeah, I'm able to uh, damage him like that. I'll go here power up my pawn how do I is this damn so splash this would be something that would be good for me to remember but splash takes effect after your move you get there and then you do the splash cantrip is the most expensive one and it's also the best because, I mean, fuck, it gives you another move that's just straight up and down solid. And then all of these have unique stuff. So this one makes me draw one less card. Hmm. 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 
This isn't worth it. I'll go ahead and skip turn. I'll take my one damage. Okay, this is good. So that killed him in one. I'll take that. So you can kill a guy in one if they have... Uh, if you have splash on and then it attacks in the same direction, you can kill them in one. So there the splash went around him and it didn't kill. But because I was attacking, for example, diagonally in the, and then you attack diagonally, you move him one more square, but then the splash activates and then that's a kill. So that's useful. Um, ongoing fight between do I continue buffing the hell out of one piece or do I have a bunch of pieces that all have one power, you know? Damn it. That was stupid. Sorry, I played a lot of this game, but I only think about it in terms of All right, cool. A lot of stuff happening on this turn. That's not a kill. Right, because he's got the thing up. Sorry, I'm ordinarily better at this game, but I'm like... I'm just a little lost because I'm a... Uh... Let's get There you go. Um, I'm a little lost because I'm recording. I've not recorded this game ever before. So yeah, Ponbarian has the most typical... This is the class called Ponbarian, but we're talking about him now. This is the most typical character. They have the most normal moves. Cool. Get. Unfortunately, your extra turns don't get banked anywhere. It's just, is taking your turn worse? Okay, then it's banked. I guess it's probably to disincentivize the player from doing that, but... Yeah, that'll work. Nice. I love knighting around the board and, and hitting guys that way. That really works for me. So I'm going to show every, like, campaign, essentially, with the Pawn Baryon. But I also do want to show off... Actually, I want to show off every character. So I'll do all the default campaigns. So this is difficult, because he will move. Um, Because that counts as diagonal movement. The Pawn is weird that way. Yeah, look at that. I love clearing guys out. So that counts because, again, that's diagonally adjacent. And then I didn't take any damage because that was not a real move. That was, uh... Or, because I had armor up. So yeah, there's a lot of effects that go on your character. There's a lot of really smart things here. And, like... This is just a really cleanly designed game. Like, the game itself is very, very enjoyable. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, this guy is problematic. Because he'll keep killing... He'll keep refreshing guys. So, yeah. I've got all those to deal with now. And then... Where are we going with this? I can take two, but let's only take one. So that was his mistake, because he stepped up in there. Mm. And again.
that's another like problematic move for him because yeah, why not? Yeah, take the kill. There. Yeah, all right. Right, you can't. So this takes you up to the next move, but this one is just, hey, are you done? You want to take that win? Be my guest. And I, I, I do want to, and I will. So yeah, that's the Pondarian. Um, they're pretty, pretty typical. They have a completely normal set, but there's multiple characters in here. They all have really, really cool things going on. Um, and I, in the, in the interest of showing off this game, I will demonstrate. So no cantrips, you can get Purify. Cantrip triggers when you have two knights that go on a turn ever. You have no pawns. You only have knights. So you can see, just looking at this, this is king, king, rook, rook, bishop, bishop, all knights. So we lose out on a queen, which is the best chess piece normally, for those who don't know. We get an extra king, which is kind of a, you know, crappy chess piece. It can only move one, but it can move in any direction. Uh, we'll go into the Goblin Caves again. I'll show off the other. I'll show off the other ones with another character, just because I'm not uh, confident in my abilities to play this character. Right. Takes place after. That's okay. So purify. You may have noticed last time we were being attacked with a. Um... So yeah, then that counts as. So king, as you can see, only one. Um. I'll just move in. Simple. Um, you may have noticed that there were enemies that, quote, blighted us. Uh, sorry, I just grinked my mouth. That was that weird noise you heard. It was just my tongue. Um, there were enemies that blighted us. Uh, those are more common in other areas. Nice. Cool. A little difficult for one. I think here? Yeah. And unfortunately, that doesn't proc our uh, thing. This would be primo for any knight. I'll just move out of range. And we lose one gold. Cool. And then you bank the rest. So you're automatically going to heal one every round, but if you don't feel confident about your ability to take damage, you can buy more hearts, and then those keep getting refilled. They started at five, but they get more expensive. I think they're like five, seven, nine. I think it's just evens with two every time. Cool. So yeah, the chessboard is also smaller. It's only five by five. I can do that. No point to it, but I can do it. Hmm. Unfortunate. Kind of a bad turn. So yeah, see, I've killed this guy and now all these areas are blighted. If I move a, uh, a piece with Purify onto any of these squares, it purifies the square. You take damage from the Blight on a square if you are standing on it only at the end of your turn. Double down on damage. Let's get a little more juice. Oops. Closed my window there. See, so yeah, the Knight is a little more complicated to play. Like... But having many knights on the character means that you can do a whole lot more damage. Also, um, if an enemy that has this nimble thing up, the little wind, the little whirlwind, if they have that up and then you kick them into a wall, like if he had started here, he can't dodge towards the wall. So if I attack from these squares and push him into the wall, then he would die immediately. The same is true if they are against another enemy that they can't go through. Um, let's get one more defense and then some attack. 
See, it's possible to kill nine enemies in a single turn if you use a knight to jump dead. If, if they have like a big setup like this and you use a knight to jump dead center into one of them, you can just go in and kill ingeniously. And then I don't need to worry about the damage because I had the armor up. imagine it like you're, you know, literally on a horse and you have to, you know, en passant, you have to kill guys as you pass them. Not strictly what en passant means, but... Um... Because, like, you're, you're jump. It's a thing where, like, I jump over this guy because I can't get to him, and then I use my knight to get down on him. Uh, and I like that. That's clever. Let's kill you. So there I was a little kill focused. Nice. Oh, damn. So taking more than two damage is usually kind of bad. Because you can only get one... Uh, health back and now I'm not gonna have my full I ended up buying one just to do it because I had spare cash hmm. I'll grab this it could end up being useful so this is the last floor with our man the knight but yeah I'm going in with only four and like granted that's the default but I could have been going in with maximum and that would have been nice So, this is going to smash him into this guy, which means that he can't get away. And I have armor up, and then I also use Blight uh, Purification to purify that square. Which is a useful ability. Hmm. We can play Risky. Oh, never mind. That's fine. I'm willing to take that. So I have only beaten these two with the, the Templar. I'm not super great as him, because sometimes I'm like, yeah, I can do that. So Shogun is weird. By the way, a brave fighter of the Northern Chestlands, always on the lookout for a new challenge. Holy warrior with divine gift combat. It's a fucking paladin, you know who it is. Uh, this fearsome soldier uses a martial art unknown in the continental chestlands. So, like, even though this is a fantasy with a very light, shall we say, constructed world, it does have a canon. It does have lore. And, like, this takes place in the chestlands. They just look like this. Um, and this guy is, you know, as befitting your fantasy guy. This is still a samurai, and he's not from this continent. He's from somewhere else. This is a concept I love in, like, almost all fantasy medias. And I actually haven't done anything as him. I'm really bad as this guy. This is a thing common in a lot of fantasy medias, but, like, there's always going to be a fantasy Japan. There's literally always going to be a fantasy Japan, and, like, you know, they're going to have, uh... They're going to have, you know, these samurais and, and katanas and stuff, and it's just, it's always going to look like that, you know? Um... One of my favorite jokes uh, uh, about this concept is from two best friends play Dark Souls 3. Uh, player Pat common, uh, player Pat gets a katana and commentator Wooly comments on this phenomenon. And he, he says this quote, and I love this quote. You know, Western knight, never heard of Japan, never even seen a katana, doesn't know what a katana is, picks it up, I am Miyamoto Musashi. Just immediately intimate, perfect knowledge of every possible use of the katana. Like, you would think somebody who's never seen a katana is just going to use it like, um, 
is just going to use it like a normal single-edged sword, but like, no, if they pick up a katana, they know how to unsheathe it. They know how to do that ayajutsu shit that people love. So this is based off of Go, I believe. Um, so all of these are unfamiliar to me because I just don't know these symbols. I don't know how to read this language, in fact. Um... But then, as you as you use cards, you also get this ability, Drag and Drop, because, of course. Uh, this lets you promote cards. Certain cards have promotion, uh, like, rules here, essentially. Hmm. These reset at the end of the battle, so, like, you may as well use it, you know? But, like, the fact that he... He kind of can't attack sideways. He can move forward really well, but it's very difficult to get him to attack sideways properly. Um, and granted, that's a chest... Th that's a That's a part of Go, you know? But, like... As a result, he's a really mechanically unusual character, and I feel like I have a bunch of, like, null games where I, I'm i not using him correctly, and I get him killed as a result too early. Um, and that feels lame. Like, granted, my fault. I don't know how to use this, this character. But it is just a little... I should have done that the other way around. That was dumb. Like, at the very least, I do know how to play chess. I don't know how to play Go. And so, like, I can understand a chess game and... Uh-oh. So this... None of these cards will get me out of here. This is far more common to happen to him because... You know, it's... He has a very unusual board. Promote some of these, huh? Did not think I would survive that one. <laughs> Getting stuck is bad. point in moving. I've got some armor, so I could take that some of those hits, but I don't have a lot of armor. I guess I'll move there just to survive the round, the turn. Take that double kill. Wait, shit, right, he moves. Well, see, so yeah, I'm not very good at the Shogun, um, but there's also Nomad, Cappy Zerker, and Misty. So I'll do those three next time. Um, I did a couple of weeks of Blood Card. Initially, I was only going to do three, but I ended up splitting that run just to show off. Um, I'm very happy to sit back and take a little longer look. That was something I actually wanted to do last season of Friday Night Roblegs, but I never did. Um, and now I am doing it on this one. So I'll see you guys next week. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes. We will be uploading Spotty, but I'm still going to get Friday Night Roguelikes every week. Uh, of that, you can be sure. Um, so see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. I hope you have a good day. Bye.